All right, so in, in this example problem, we're looking for to calculate the total charge here, the total charge through uh, this device. So we're given the graph of the current and the time, and these are in milliamps and milliseconds. So milliseconds, this would be uh, right along this line here. That is 0 0.002 seconds okay so that is 0 0.002 seconds and this is would be in terms of amps that is 0 0.01 amps so just remember that that these are in milliamps and milliseconds so if we want the total charge and that's usually what we write as q q is the total the whole thing we take the integral from some initial time to some final time. And what we have here is the current times dt. So what we're looking to find is the area underneath this curve here. So let's first, let's break this up into two pieces. Let's do the triangle. Let's do the triangle. So we'll do the triangle first as the first thing we do. And then we'll do this rectangle as the second. All right, let's get going. So the area of this one here, this triangle, so for one, remember we have one half times the one millisecond, which is 0 0.001, that's this distance here, times this height here, which is 0 0.01 amps. So 0 0.01 amps. And so that's for one. And then let's do two. So two is this rectangle where we have from here to here, this is one millisecond. And the height here is this 0 0.01 amps. All right, so this would be the total Q. And the total Q, let's grab the calculator quick. Looks like the total Q I got was 0 0.011 coulombs. And that represents the total charge of passing through this device when we're given the current and the time.